everyone hi and welcome back a couple weeks ago I showed some videos cartoons DVDs things that I was hoping would jog some memories of days gone by when Saturday mornings were ruled by animated shows cartoons things of that nature before they came up with things like infomercials and news and things of that stuff uh, that sort and a lot of people commented how I did jog some memories and they had forgotten about certain things and they were quite happy which made me happy and they were going to look online or look on Amazon and see some of you even said you ordered some things found some things that you were looking for ordered them and hopefully it was going to help you get through the quarantine I hope everyone's safe and, and healthy and I thought what I would do is share some TV shows instead of going into some more of the jerseys to try and get people to maybe ease through being stuck indoors and hopefully have some happy memories. So the first thing I was going to talk about today was commercials. What? Yeah, it's true. TV commercials. Before they had these things that had, it's on here somewhere, a pause button. The pause that you experienced when you watched TV back in the day was the commercials. Originally some shows were sponsored by basically a commercial. If you watched Dinah Shore she was sponsored by Chevrolet. If you saw Bob Hope on TV there was a chance you were going to see Texaco commercials. And then someone got the bright idea that instead of having a, a whole time block sponsored by one company, they could break into the show, show you a lot of different commercials, and make more money. Worked out good. But the reason why I'm talking about commercials is that's how we're going to start off this video. So follow me and we'll get started. So here we go, we're going to get started with the commercials. This first one is six DVDs of 613 commercials. They list them as classic car commercials, classic food and beverage, classic cigarette, classic toy commercials, and celebrity commercials. I checked out the toy commercials and I think it's an hour and 35 minutes of vintage toy commercials. This would be outstanding, I think, to sit down and watch just before Christmas. Bring, bring back some of those old childhood memories. And the next one is classic TV commercials, the ones we never forgot. And I think it's done either by the same company or a companion to the first one. So that's why I was talking about commercials. But some of the shows that maybe you would have been watching that would have had those commercials on were some of the sets that I'm going to show you today, The Addams Family, the original TV series, that was one of my favorite shows. I love The Addams Family. I have the complete series. Another complete series that I've picked up is Adam 12, Reed Malloy out in Los Angeles. That was one of my favorites growing up. I have the complete series of All in the Family. I don't have the complete series, but I have a lot of the... It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Kind of a wacky show that I really enjoyed, and when Danny DeVito came on board, that was a bonus. I love Danny DeVito. Uh, next up is... I have five seasons of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Which I think was filmed in Canada. One of our favorites to sit down and watch around Halloween, put a disc and just uh, kind of binge watch that show. Another one that uh, came from elsewhere is The Avengers, was filmed in England. This is the Emma Peel mega set. Emma was played by Diana Rigg who was known as Emma Peel by a whole generation of people who may or may not know that she was introduced to a whole nother generation when she played in Game of Thrones. I don't have the full complete series, but I have quite a few of the Big Bang Theory. And then I have Batman the movie. I know it's not um, 
really a, a TV show. Batman was um, obviously a TV show, but this was the full-length movie with all the actors and actresses that appeared in the TV show. And then later on they had kind of like a reunion show, Return to the Batcave. So I have that. And then there was some animated shorts that came out that included the voices of the original Batman and Robin. And we have some Benny Hill. And I only have the first season of Better Call Saul. And I haven't seen it yet. I need to watch that and get caught up on that. I think they're in fourth or fifth season now and there might even be a runoff that I have to get caught up with. Candid Camera. That was a TV classic for a lot of years. I have the best of Johnny Carson. Chips. I only have the first season. This is one of the shows I love to watch. But I don't have, I wouldn't sit down and watch the whole series again but I would I would like to watch an episode once in a while and then I have the complete series of coach continuing on I know some of you were making fun of the fact that I have all these in alphabetical order that's a true story I do but that's how I find them in the store so I, I catalog them that way combat I have the complete set of combat one of my favorite shows I have uh, quite a few discs, different um, selections from Tops. I think that started in the late 80s, maybe 1988, 89. I think it's still on TV. It's been around a couple different networks. I have Crime Story, another show that came over from England. Here come the Double Deckers. Get on board with them. I have Dragnet, season one of the Drew Carey show. I really enjoyed that show. That came out in around the mid-90s, 95 maybe. One of my dad's favorite shows was Due South. I have a complete series of that. Dukes of Hazard, another one. I watched every episode. Didn't care for the ones when they were not on the show. They had a contract dispute and they left the show for a year or two. But I'll watch one of these every once in a while. The full series of Emergency. Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto. And the uh, doctors and nurses at Rampart General. Family Affair, Season 1. Mr. French and uh, Mrs. Beasley. That was the doll's name. One of my favorite comedies from the 60s, F Troop. I have the complete, well, two seasons of those. The original Flipper. Fractured Fairy Tales, which was from, I think, the creator of Bullwinkle. It's kind of a 1963 version of Whose Line Is It? Where they took old clips of silent movies and some old newsreels and they put them together to make a kind of a different storyline and they ad-libbed comments over it. I guess it was pretty funny. I've seen a couple of them. The Fugitive with David Jansen. This is a complete series. That was supposed to be based off of a true story about a murder that took place in Bay Village, Ohio with Dr. Sam Shepard. It has a storyline. It's not a, an exact copy. Get Smart with Don Adams. I have one season and I have the complete season of Hill Street Blues, one of my favorite shows. And that, that's something that we will be watching again, that whole series. I have The Hitchhiker, which ran for I think three seasons, maybe four, on HBO. I have three discs of those. Again, another movie based off a TV show with the original actors from the TV show, House of Dark Shadows. This was a box set that was the golden age of television. It has different clips from Ed Sullivan, Bob Hope, Johnny Carson, and Carol Burnett. 
not sure much about where this came from or how it originated, but it was the hilarious House of Frightenstein with Vincent Price and Billy Van. I know it was on in the Cleveland market for maybe a year uh, with one of the, that we had channel 43 and channel 61, which were UHF channels, and I think it might have appeared on one of those stations. I Dream of Genie. I have the complete set of I Love Lucy. And then the I Love Lucy, Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. Dennis Leary in The Job, that was just before he was in Rescue Me. He played a, a cop detective in this one, and Rescue Me, he was a fireman. I have the complete set of Justified. Season 1 of L.A. Law. Lancelot Link Secret Chimp. Agency to Prevent Evil. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. I'm not sure if that style show would make it on TV today. It was kind of like an All in the Family. It was something that was on in the... All in the Family was in the 70s. This was in the 60s, and I don't know if TV could handle that today. I have Longmire. The full set of Mad About You. The complete series of Married with Children. I have the first two seasons of The Man Show. Another controversial show. This one was probably from the mid to late 70s. Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. McHale's Navy. Classic show, but not one that I would want the whole set for. But it is fun to to throw it in and watch a couple of them every once in a while. Goes back a little further, the best of the Mickey Mouse Club with Annette. Everybody loved Annette. And Cubby and Jimmy and Roy. You know what I talk about if you ever saw that. The Midnight Special. It was kind of MTV before there was MTV. I'm trying to see if I can get that to focus. There it is. Another one that I used to like to watch a lot was The Monster Garage with Jesse James. This is season three. I have the pilot movie and seasons one and two of Moonlighting, Bruce Willis's big debut on TV. The sister show to The Addams Family was The Munsters, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. And one of my favorites from... I think this was early 2000s, the Most Extreme Elimination Challenge, or MXC. These are crazy. A lot of fun. I love watching these. Right you are, Kenny. My name is Earl. Great storyline. I liked about the first three seasons. The Newhart Show, which the season finale of the Newhart Show, if you ever watched Bob Newhart, uh, this is probably one of the, the greatest finales of a show but if you didn't watch the Bob Newhart show you wouldn't completely get the uh, the ending of this uh, creative packaging for the first season of Northern Exposure Police Squad the complete series Police Story I think my dad's favorite show was the Red Green show filmed in Canada one of those kind of humor things that it's kind of so dopey it's funny, but he loved it. I love watching it with him. I have the complete Rat Patrol. This is Reality Rides. They found a uh, barn find, a mid-50s Buick that they were able to buy, and it's basically, I think, two or three discs of the... Finding the car, getting the car to the garage, restoring the car, and then the, the finished product. Complete series of Rescue Me. The first three years of Saturday Night Live, which were my favorite ones. I watched these a lot. Kind of a spinoff of Saturday Night Live was Mr. Bill. 
the Mr. Bill Classics. Oh no! Um, Canada's version of Saturday Night Live, which came out I think in 1981, and I think Saturday Night Live debuted in the mid 70s, 1975, and I think it was on in Canada several years before it came to the United States, but this was just as good, sometimes better. I have the complete set of the shield. Sledgehammer both seasons. Soap, another show that is kind of a classic that I don't know if it would survive on TV now. But it's something I'd like to watch every once in a while. Kind of um, the TV debut, for me at least anyway, of Billy Crystal. I have all of the Sons of Anarchy. One of my favorite comedies, Taxi. The first season of True Detective, which I heard is great, but after that, not so great. And then I have the first two years of Two and a Half Men. What's happening? We'll have to watch that. Two season combo pack. Another one of my favorite comedies is Wings. Had the complete series. WKRP in Cincinnati. I thought turkeys could fly. That's a classic. I have a complete set of The Wonder Years. You can't really see that well. Then I have one disc. I think it's the second or third volume of a series from You Bet Your Life with Groucho Marx, which was a game show that took place back in the 50s, I think, the very early part of uh, TV. So that concludes all of the TV shows. And again, my, my goal here was to try and get you to remember some things that maybe you really enjoyed and maybe forgot about or something that you haven't seen in such a long time that you might want to find and watch again. And hopefully it will bring some joy and pass some time while we're all stuck indoors. So thanks for your time, thanks for visiting, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye!